Okay, what's going on guys? No guys here. Welcome back to another formation video. In today's video, we're going over the 5-2-1-2. Now, for those of you that don't know, I've been using the five back formations since FIFA 19. Um, I knew this formation would be very, very OP um, in the beta, but I didn't expect many people to figure it out that early. But of course, the pros did. Um, I'm not referring here to a 5-4-1, I'm just referring to the 5-2-1-2. I think a lot of people are struggling with the 5-4-1. Have a look at this gameplay. Um, it's really a pro level formation. There's a lot of manual work, player locking, L1 triggers, and you can see here my strike is isolated. So although it's very defensive heavy, you do lose out on the attack. Whereas in contrast, as you can see in this 5-2-1-2, you have a lot of players. Um, if there was a way I could defend in a four back using this specific formation, um, I would love it. But there isn't. I know you can technically tinker around putting a CDM as a drop between um, but I don't really like that. Um, but I really like this system because you have two strikers, you have a cam. For those of you who like the 352, my 352, this is basically a model of the 352, um, this system. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about when you play with this formation. As I said, I don't promote ratty play. 541, I'm not going to use that. But with this one, I actually defend very aggressively. So if you like defending aggressively, this might be your key formation. Now, the way that I have this is I have both my strikers um, on poacher attack. I have Sun on the advance forward because he has the advance forward plus plus. If you have a plus plus player, a striker, you should always try to use it. Even if someone else's tactics is a poacher, you should always use the plus plus. Now, the main thing with this formation is Neymar, the shadow striker. Now, if you want to make this a bit more better, I would say defensively, you can put a playmaker balanced. But the reason why I like him on a shadow strike is he makes these runs, AI runs, does this for me. Have a look at some of these examples. He makes those runs from midfield without me triggering the player. And I like it because when there's a gap in defense, that player would make that run. Kind of think like that Bellingham kind of play, but in FC, you want someone here that's quick. Neymar is perfect or someone like Foden is perfect in that role. Do you want to get better at FC 25? Now, before you skip ahead, what if I told you if you join my FC school and you didn't get better after one month, I'll refund your money. I can say this because I've been running my FC school for many, many years and thousands of students join and even stay on. We go over complete in-depth gameplay tutorials showing you both the theory of something and the gameplay examples using real life examples in a structured format. That's like a course. The video is on a systematic learning system teaching you everything from the core mechanics, the basics to the meta so you can get better as a whole with explanations that go beyond the scope of my YouTube channel. FC School has already started with every single tactical layout focuses meta cards and learn the meta before it even becomes a meta. So come join thousands of others in a mature audience community for those looking to get better at FC25, patreon.com forward slash no guys or click the link down below. Now when you join we already have a library of hundreds of videos, more than my YouTube channel in fact, with new videos on FC25 getting constantly added so you'll never run out of content. The biggest mistake people do is they spend thousands of dollars on FP points every year thinking this will make them better but it won't. But now it's time for you to make that change. Don't forget, if you don't get better after one month, just send me a message and I'll refund your money. That's the Neil Guys guarantee. Links down below in the description, patreon.com forward slash Neil Guides. Now, for the center mid, um, I would recommend if you struggle, I would say use both of them as a holding. So if you're new to this formation and you're like to me, Neil, I want to try this out, put both of these players on holding. I'll explain to you why. It's because some people, they struggle from the counter attacks. Now, me personally, I don't struggle from the counter attacks. So what I do is I leave one on box to box and I leave the other one on playmaker. Now, it depends which one you want to do. I use Pati Giharo as a playmaker. But have a look at this example here. In ten, we put Tonali on a playmaker. Now, with two players on playmaker, it makes the formation very attacking. If you really know what you're doing, you're watching this and you're a rank three player and above, it's something I would recommend because you probably know how to defend. And I think you can make this formation even more attacking and you can basically have a 5v5 in the narrow areas up against your opponents, even two CDMs and back five. So against another fellow back five, this works out very well. But I think box to box is a good balance if you're asking me, but feel free to change this if you do struggle. It's very, very important. Now for the back three, have them all on defender. Do not use stopper. Don't use anything like this because they stick out too much. Ball playing center back, I think is just too much. Sometimes if I really, really need to, for example, I can always trigger one of my defenders to go forward. Um, but you really don't want to be going too far out. I mean, I defend very aggressively with this formation. A lot of teammate contain. I don't rely on AI. And that is how I'm able to defend. Now, for the left back and the right back, arguably the most important, um, I have attacking wing back and balance. Now, 
If you're asking me personally, again, it's not a top tip. I'd probably put one of these players on attacking. For example, I use Batcher on attacking. She just makes that runs going forward better and coming back because she does have the plus plus. But I think for everyone else watching this, I think balance is a good equilibrium between. They go forward, but they also come back. They don't come back every single time instantly like the old days. But they still come back and they provide that defense. So when you're attacking, I like it because you have that base at three back. You have one center mid or if you want to put the holding player here, you can. And either playmaker. So I've kind of like four players now in the middle. And then either left back and a right back providing width. Almost similar to my 3-5-2 that I've always used to love to play. And you will see this when I go into the game. How this is really the formation killer. So it's basically a 5-2-1-2-3-5-2 hybrid. I would say of course it's a 5-2-1-2 on paper. But I'll consider it more 3-5-2. Um, so that is how it is. I'm out of possession. I'm you defending a back five. And unfortunately, I wish you could put one of these players on stay forward, but you can't because I actually prefer to defend the back four with CDMs, if you're asking me speaking. Um, but attacking is one of the most solid formations and both defensively, like if you want to be a rat and you put them both on holding, I would only say do it if someone's using a five back against you, but you can put both these players on holding and you very much have a fantastic counter attack formation. Um, when we go over the team tactics, so that's the code over there, Charlie Sierra one uh, exclamation mark question mark at whiskey capital foxtrot india mike echo eight um, and then we have uh, the build up stand counter this is actually very very important because the left back and right back sometimes if you have a player that's just got the role for example a like kadioglu those players don't make the runs as quick and uh, counter really helps them make runs in behind especially with that sh shadow striker being neymar so just do bear that in mind it actually does really does help and from that respect um for the defensive approach i've gone with balanced now you can increase this now i personally as i said i press manually with this formation um but if you don't press manually you can feel free to re increase it now what i would say is keep this on a more of a passive depth um, I think if you struggle defensively, you're going to struggle with a high depth here. This is really predominantly a very attacking formation. You're going to be vulnerable, I would say, on the counterattacks in the wider areas. So, for example, in these areas. So, if you're up against a 4-4-2 and your opponent, for example, they have um, they're both the left wing and right wing on stay forward, bear in mind you might have a 4 versus 3. So, the counter for 5 backs, actually... It's my four triple two, and that is why I use my four triple two a lot because it works well against five backs. Um, but that is probably the only weak point. But from an attacking stance, it's very very good. If you can try to get someone who's got attacking plus, but you need pace here. Realistically, these positions here you need pace. You can't get away with someone slow here. If you're thinking about playing Carver out here, no, play Lorente. I'd rather you play someone with ninety sp sprint speed, for example, who's just got a plus as opposed to someone who's got ninety nine. Um, so 90, sorry, 80 sprint speed and just the roll plus. Pace is also very important because these players need to come back and forth, back and forth. Kind of like my old days of my 5 2 on 2 Now, unfortunately, they removed the instruction for the left wing and right wing back to attack in four backs. That would have been the holy grail. Um, but they removed that instruction this year. Thanks very much for that EA, the D-pad. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. I've been using this since the beta, to be honest, and it's been working very, very well. I didn't really want to release it, especially in the first week. Um, but since everyone's already using firebacks and the game's already ruined, I suppose I can. I'm not going to be faulted like I normally historically get faulted or blamed for releasing this and destroying the game. So thankfully, this time, no one can blame me. Um, but yeah, I like this formation a lot. It's definitely going to be in my selections. I'll be testing it behind the scenes um, a lot. Um, this one, I have to test myself because um, I just want to create a specific system. Um, but you can use this. It's already been tested by a few other people that I trust and just not re released to the mass public. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you want to get better FC, come join my Patreon series, patreon.com forward slash nil guys, or you can click over here. Remember, if you don't get better after one month, real refund on your mind, that is the nil guys guarantee. Anyways, thanks for watching. Take it easy and I'll catch you next time. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this.